So in the previous lesson, we've protected our products list from unauthenticated users. Now let's talk about authorization, whether the user is admin or not, how to test that. And I've simulated the situation. First, I will explain the code and then we'll get how to test that. So I've added a field is admin to the users table. This is a probably very simplified example of roles and permissions. So just is admin or not Boolean. In the real life scenario, you may use something like Spotty permission or other package or just general gates of Laravel for roles and permissions. But the point in this video is how to test that whatever the condition is for roles and permission. So is admin here is admin is fillable in the user model. And then in the index blade, for example, we restrict product creation to only admin. And we show the button of add new product to the routes only if the user is admin. So that is protection on the front end. The button is invisible, but of course we need to protect that on the back end as well. And I've created a special middleware for that is admin. PHP artisan make middleware is admin middleware with just one condition of if not admin, then abort forbidden. Then I register that middleware in app HTTP kernel with the name is admin. And then I can use that name in the routes. And I've changed the routes web from just route resource of product controller. I've separated the list of product controller is just under middleware auth. But then there's another route group within that group with another middleware is admin. So is admin protects managing of the products, which is in our case for now, create and store methods. So those are accessible only for admin. Visually, if I log in with simple user in my database, I don't see any button of add new product. But if I log out and I log in with admin, which has is admin one in the database. And let's see, and I see the button of add new product, which doesn't do anything yet. And we will get to that. But for now, our goal is to protect the button and protect the methods of create and store and test both scenarios, admin login and user login. So let's get to our products test. And I'm suggesting to add four tests here, two for visual and two for backend restriction. So visually admin should see that button and non admin should not see that button. So let's do public function test admin can see products create button create button like this. So we do what acting as products like this. And instead of assert view has assert C because I'm pretty sure that won't be in other parts of the pages, we open up index blade, what was the name add new product. So we see that the text add new product exists. The only thing is that this user is not admin in our case. So in this case, for now, at least we will manually create a factory user user factory with create. And remember, I told you we can override the factory rules. So is admin equals true in our case. And we have that user or in fact, let's rename the variable name to admin. And we acting as admin. That's another point, by the way, in tests, make variables, functions and everything as readable as possible. So other people reading the tests could be almost reading them as scenarios as specification for the product. So it's not just any user, it's admin user. And let's see if our tests will be still green. Eight pass test. Yes, correct. So admin can see product create button and regular user cannot see. So let's copy and paste this. And in this case, we don't need admin because we have this user remember from the setup acting as this user test non admin cannot see products create button. And in here we have assert don't see add new product. Again, let's relaunch our test PHP artisan test and we have nine past test. And in here we test both positive and negative. So admin sees something non admin doesn't see something. And also I've mentioned four tests. So let's add two more not about the button but accessing the page. So what if someone for example knows the URL slash product slash create and would try to launch that manually not from the button. So let's protect our system from that. In fact, it's already protected. We just need to create the test for that test admin can access the page. 
not can see the products page but can access products or product create page products slash create acting not as this user acting as admin again let's copy user factory create with admin here and acting as admin we can access products create and all we need to assert is status 200 and then test non-admin cannot access so we copy that test non-admin cannot access products create page so we're acting as this user simple user and we try to access that and assert status should be 403 because it's under middleware again i will remind you is admin middleware so this should happen if i'm not an admin let's try it out so launch the tests again do we have 11 passed test yes correct so we added four tests covering two tests for the backend protection and two tests for the front end protection the final thing in this lesson what I would like to clean up is that repeating part of user factory create. We kind of moved away from that in the last lesson, refactoring to the private create user, but we're still getting back to user factory here. We shouldn't. In fact, let's make a parameter. Is admin true would be a parameter of create user. So is admin by default, it will be false. And let's put that Boolean here. And in the create, we will have is admin is admin as a parameter and now instead of user factory create here we would reuse the same this create user true and in fact i like to use php8 syntax of named parameters here so other people reading this code they wouldn't really understand immediately what is true is admin true like this it's more readable or in fact we can go even further and try to have more users like this private user user and then private user admin and create both here this admin create user is admin true like this and then we don't need to call that method in here at all not create user but instead we use this admin and in another test we also do this admin and now all our arrangement for users happens in the setup method that calls create user twice for regular user and admin. It's much cleaner, I think.